Hey everybody and thank you so much for tuning in with me Letitia McKinney and welcome to Designing with Letitia McKinney. Friends today we're going to do a very very simple centerpiece. I think it is just so simple. So you're going to find all the material that you're going to need down in the description box down below and we're going to go straight off in today's tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay friends, so we're going to go ahead and clean our taper stand off, removing all of the labels off of here as well as the little sticker tag. And then we're going to also clean our plate. So everything that we're going to be using, make sure all of the labels are off and the items are cleaned. What I'm going to do, I already have my E6000 on here. I'm just going to do the upside down method. That's what I call it. Make sure it's centered. And you're going to apply pressure to it. Now you can place some books or anything that's heavy on top of it. Make sure that you leave it on there anywhere between 24 to 48 hours. Remember guys, I told you I've had things to happen. So just make sure that you leave it on there on a stable level. And you shouldn't have any problems with it during its drying time. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that we place this on top of our plate, making sure that it's centered just like that. And you don't have anything submerging out. If you do, you can just take some alcohol, place it on a Q-tip and just rub it off. And like I told you before, make sure that it does, you know, this drying time is between 24 to 48 hours with a stack of books on it just like this. And we're good to go. Now let's go ahead and start working on our top. So for me to get this look right here, I just placed some hot glue on the tip of my ribbon. And then I came all the way around to the back. And then I placed some more hot glue right there. This is a temporary project for me. And then where it meets right here, I just placed some hot glue right there to get this look right here. Starting right here where we did that closure. We're going to take some hot glue and apply it to our brooch. I'll show you in just a moment. I'm just applying hot glue to the brooch. That's all I'm doing. And then we're going to place the brooch right here. Press down. And there you go. Now let's add some hot glue to the very top. Just like that. And then place this little brooch from Toby Dazzle on top of that. And I think that's cute. That is so beautiful. Now what I did right here was just add a plate to the top, well to the bottom of that taper stand. And this is how it should look once it's finished drying. That's very beautiful. I'm not going to add any like teardrops to this or anything because it's already full of details. So I'm just going to leave it like this and let's add our tops. Oh, let me go over some of the other centerpieces that you can use to just kind of pull this piece out on your table. So for our added centerpieces, we're going to be using a nine inch cylinder vase that you can get from the Dollar Tree and also the seven and a half cylinder vases. So we're going to be using two of the nine inches and two of the seven and a half inch ones. Now this is what I did friends. I just used the same method. I just used the white ribbon. I placed one of the brooches from Totally Dazzled right here. And then I used some of the water beads. I filled about this much into my vase that's all i did and then i went ahead and placed in my flower you see in this tutorial the flowers that i used and then i use only distilled water anytime i'm using water beads i use distilled water only and then i place my beautiful rose on top and of course another brooch and so that's how i did this seven and a half inch vases for the nine inch vases what i did was use the water beads again the flower and then added my distilled water. So now it's time for us to just bring everything together to see how gorgeous this has turned out.
So let us know, friends, what you guys think about today's tutorial. Just leave your comments down below. And to everyone who's new, we are so grateful that you guys have just traveled along for this journey with us. And we will see you all in the next one. Have a blessed one. Bye. So if you like what you're seeing today and you would like to see more tutorials like this, go ahead on and click that face down there. I would love to have you over here on our team. Once you do that and you click my face, you're going to turn on your bell ringer so every time I upload a video, you will be the first to know. All right, friends, catch you in the next one. Blessings.